वेलकम वेलकम टू मा गुरुकुल आई एम श्योर यू हैव बीन ट्राइंग फ्यू एक्टिविटीज विच इज बीन देयर इन द फॉर्म ऑफ वीडियोज इन द चैनल टूडे आई वॉन्ट टू कम अप विथ और आई रैद आई वॉन्ट टू शो यू कलरिंग अफकोर्स आई नो देर आर सो मैनी चिल्ड्रेन हु लव कलरिंग एंड दे कैन सिट डाउन फॉर आर्स ओनली विथ कलर्स राइट but today we will be focusing coloring using crayons color pencils that is using the uh, the pencil mode all right now this activity helps the child in gripping hand and eye coordination creativity especially if the child of very very interested towards the art field you will be able to know that uh, by the child by the by the time the child is 5 years old all right so we'll start off with that for that i want you to come a little closer so that i can explain you with a lot of materials is available along with me all right so please come forward and yes so now coloring or the scribbling activity can start off with children who are 1 year old also so this activity is for children who are 1 plus years old and can go on until you know even they are doing their masters degrees in arts and etc so there is no age limit here at all all right so i would like to focus on what kind of has been done the first time when we start when the star, child starts writing probably he or she is one and half years old or one plus so few children start scribbling even when they are you know around uh, one year five six months old all right so for them what do we do is we just give them a plain sheet or any sheet of a paper but make sure that you put on to on to a newspaper right put on the thing you can clip it up using um using the paper clips if possible or you can use a double side tape and stick it up like this so that the child gets gets a clear picture of the boundary right and allow the child to experiment or do with whatever the child wants to or wills to do that means usually when the children start off with scribbling they might hold the pencil or the crayon like this it's all fine right that is the five grip method they usually might start holding things and then start scribbling right everywhere um we i will make a small video on whether we are supposed to allow the children to scribble on the walls yes or no so this will be a separate video because uh, there are a lot of technical terms or technical details which need to be explained to you all right so once the child starts scribbling what you have to do is clip on to a paper so that even if he or she goes out of the boundary it is still on the paper all right or on to a floor if you feel your floor is messy and if you are all all right with it then you can go with it so you just have to give a plain sheet of a paper and no um a boundary of a drawing like no house to be drawn no circle to be drawn just a plain sheet where they can experiment with stitching line standing line or whatever they want all right so with respect to this i would like to show what kind of or how kind of had scribbled all right so if you can focus and uh, look into this right if you can focus and look into this so this is the scribbling he had started initially with all right i used to encourage him by giving smileys or by giving star light smileys so that he feels wow i've done a good job now this method was again for hand and eye coordination creativity gripping um all right and just for their uh, way of expression right so he was initially like this from here slowly we move on to the second method all right so when the child is say 2 and 1/2 years old or when the child is in pre nursery or um, there are a lot of terms which is used in every school it differs all right so what we do is we draw a big um a fruit or vegetable uh, any shape whatever you feel the child is interested in so we draw that cut it and give it to the child again make sure that you give some kind of a uh, a background or some kind of um, a clothing or a newspaper to them so that they can do the coloring all right and then they start coloring onto this what happens here is the child's confidence builds up that he or she is done something even if 
till it comes out of the boundary when the child shows it to you you are so wow about it and the child also is confident that he or she is drawn or colored not drawn sorry colored the fruit the vegetable the animal the uh, vehicle so whatever you want to the balloon stars so smileys so you can experiment with n number of things so the second method after giving them a boundary is a cut out method to build their confidence in coloring the third method or when they start slowly start increasing their age to 3 years then we start giving them big pictures with boundary like how i'll be showing this one to you my son like uh, like spider man when he was 3 and 1/2 years old right so uh, he asked me to draw a spider man so i drew a kind of a rough sketch of it can you see oh, the coloring is all outside and he is used a single color right so it was all fine it's all fine it's all outside i have written my date also so 2018 right kairav is 5 years old now so 2018 he is 3 plus all right so this is how it was slowly the child children will start building up on their coloring skills right and now i also want to show at the age of say 5 years so this is how kara was able to color at the age of 5 he still not 5 he is yet to be 5 so you can look at the date 15 5 and 20 You can see the boundaries are pretty better pretty good he has used oil pastels that's the reason you can see a lot of red colors outside all right so this is how we encourage the children in drawing first initially give them a free boundary with no thing and then we move on to a cut piece one where they can color so even if they go outside the boundary and color they're still happy and when the parents are happy because the child has done a fantastic job all right and then you slowly move on to bigger boundary pictures so you just draw a big square and give it to them let them color inside it they might color outside or them the boundaries might uh, while they coloring they might come out of the boundary it's all fine and slowly start reducing that into smaller smaller versions and start putting pictures images into it all right so uh, i hope you will try these techniques with your children yes one more um if you i just forgot to mention you this please come um, a little closer to me i would like to show you these things see the size of the crayons also matters and the uh, the type of the crayon which you choose also matters there are n number of options available these days you have plastic crayons you have uh, erasable crayons you have lot of options available lot of designs available but i am more concerned about the size of the crayon right so let me arrange them in the correct size if you see this is the thickest version available right so these are available usually in oil pastels of course the normal crayons are also available after which you will go on with these crayons which are widely available right the 10 rupees or 20 rupees crayons are widely available then you have this one which is almost like a pencil but a little thicker than the pencil and then you have the color pencils all right so i would suggest you to go on with the thickest crayon possible um to hand it over to your child when the child starts scribbling so that they can hold they can hold on to or they can grip on to the crayon remember the children might start drawing coloring scribbling with this grip they might go on with this grip and then come on to the tripod grip or the crocodile grip what we call all right so this is the last stage which they come up with so they will start um, okay so i'll tell you first they might do this second with all the five fingers they might start writing and third they will go on with the crocodile grip or the tripod grip which is the correct holding of the crayons or the pencil fine yes so do try with all of these um techniques based on the age group of your child um and do let me know whether they are loving these um coloring techniques or coloring patterns of course the majority of the children love coloring and um more importantly do let me know whether this was informative to you 
alright thank you so much if you do like this video kindly do like share and subscribe to ma gurukul thank you